after printing all your cappy parts and removing the support material and laying out your hardware, you'll need a 6mm Allen key, a 13mm wrench, a 5mm Allen key, a 10mm wrench, and a 2.5mm Allen key. Ensure that your RAM and your shell holder fit nicely together before assembly. Begin assembly by grabbing your press and your pivot piece, and making sure those two fit together nicely. After, grab your four M3 by 30 millimeter bolts and your four M3 nuts. Then grab your two millimeter Allen key, two and a half millimeter Allen key. You can use a power drill to drive these screws in to make things faster. Looking at the press, on the right side is where the nuts go, and the left side is where the bolts go. Begin by starting your bolt into the left side. Take your nut, place your nut in there, and drive the screw in. Again, you can use the power drill to speed this process up. Repeat this for all four bolts and nuts. When finished, both sides should be flush with the pivot piece. From there, we can set our press off to the side. We will grab our ram and our handle. When it comes to the ram and the handle, the opening for the shell plate should face away from the handle. We then grab our M8 by 40 millimeter bolt, and if we have a thin grease, we can apply that to the, to the bolt. We're then going to grab a M8 washer, slide that over top, and this can go into the handle, get started in the handle. Again, the shell plate opening away from the handle, get that in there, slide the bolt through. On the other side, add a second washer, grab a M8 nut, thread that on there. We'll grab our 13 millimeter wrench and our six millimeter Allen key and snug this up. Snug, not tight. Everything should move freely. Next, we'll take our handle and our arms with our two M8 by 55 bolts, washers and nuts. If you have a thin grease, that can be applied to the bolt now. Begin by taking the bolt, placing a washer over top of it, taking our arm, sliding the bolt through, taking the handle, sliding the bolt and arm into the handle on the other side. The other arm is placed. Another washer is placed over top, followed by an N8 bolt. We'll grab our 13 millimeter wrench, hold it in place, and our 6 millimeter Allen key, and just make that snug. We don't want this too tight. Everything should move freely. Next, we can place this off to the side and return to our press, as well as our brackets and our three M6 by 45 millimeter bolts. We will need our three M6 washers, as well as three M6 bolts. Start the bolts into the brackets. The first time assembling this, 
uh, these holes might be tight, you might need to assist with a pair of pliers. Taking our press, it doesn't matter from either side. We can slide the bracket and bolts into the press. On the other side, we'll take our other bracket and we'll set that there. We are going to make sure that the brackets are flush with the press and the bolts are flush with the, with the bracket. Ensuring that everything is sitting flush and through can be completed with a small hammer, a clamp, or a pair of pliers to squeeze everything together and make sure everything sits flush. In this instance, I am using M6 by 40 millimeter bolts, and the spec does call for 45 millimeter long bolts. After having everything together, we are going to place a washer on each of the bolts, and then we are going to thread on our nuts. When we thread these nuts on, we will then use our 10 millimeter wrench and our five millimeter Allen key to tighten everything. And these can be tight, not just snug. As you can see, I have one done here. You will repeat this for all three bolts. With the M6 by 40 millimeter bolts installed on the press, everything tightened down, we can then return to our ram and arm assembly. The ram can be inserted into the press. The arms will then sit on either side of the pivot piece. After lining up the holes, we then take our M8 by 55 millimeter long bolt. We will add a washer after applying a thin coat of grease if you have some habit. The bolt is then fed through the arm and pivot assembly. Once through the other side, we'll add our at last M8 washer and our last M8 bolt. We'll grab our 13 millimeter wrench and our six millimeter Allen key and snug this up. Upon completion, the press should run up and down freely and assembly is complete. Next, we'll move on to mounting. At this point, you can add the primer catch. The primer catch just fits in and slides down, locking in. This will fill up with primers as you're depriming brass, so you will need to lift it up. You can lift it up to empty it and dump it out. Inside these two pockets, if you forgot to put tree supports touching only the base plate. You will have supports that are generated down inside here, and these will need to be cleaned up with a small screwdriver in order to get the primer catch to fit properly. At this point, if you are so inclined, you can add your uh, shell plate holder. Mine is tight, but it fits. I'm gonna wait because this is the wrong size for nine millimeter.